Hey everybody, Steven here, and today we're going to be trying out the Fit Soda from Koyos here. So I've tried their energy drinks before, which has MCT oil in it, and from coconut oil it has um, nootropics in it, it has a little bit of caffeine in it, and they're really, really good. They taste good as well. So saw that they were coming out with these, wanted to give it a try. So this is the Root Beer Vanilla Float. So this has BCAAs in it, branched chain amino acids. I've talked about those a lot in the past. And with this, we're just gonna look at the side here and just what it says on the side. And we're gonna kind of analyze this a little bit and then we're gonna do a taste test. So uh, benefits with bubbles, aminos for recovery, electrolytes for hydration, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives sugar-free, gluten-free, vegan, um, you have worked too hard to just drink water. That's what it says on here. Uh, it tells you a little bit on the side and then it gets into the nutritional facts here. Um, there's really nothing in it. It says the calories, there's 15. Then there's really nothing up until you hit total carbohydrates. We have two grams. Then we have one gram of protein, which we're gonna talk about with the ratios of the BCAAs here in a second. And then we have 35 milligrams of calcium and 45 of potassium. So now we're looking at the electrolyte side here. Ingredients, carbonated water, less than 2% of calcium lactate, pentahydrate, magnesium phosphate pentahydrate, and then we have L-leucine, L-isoleucine, monopotassium phosphate, L-valine, sucralose, citric acid, and the natural flavor here. So let's go ahead and pop this open, give it a taste. Ooh, that was loud. Definitely smells like root beer. And it tastes like it. Definitely tastes like vanilla root beer, for sure. There's a slight difference in the taste, I will say that. But it's pretty close. I'm not gonna say it's exact, because with, I mean, it, it is, it is like, <laughs> really really close but I haven't had like a regular root beer in a long long time but every time I go and you do any type of fit version then you go have the real version right um, with all the sugar and all that other stuff that to me tastes weird now so now like if I was to have like a regular um, root beer soda it's just way too much right you can just taste like the thickness of the sugar right um, so this actually I can tell you it tastes really really good um, with the BCAAs with this though, that's going to be the primary version. All right, now I get to have something that tastes like a root beer soda. And then they have other flavors too, by the way. They have black cherry. I think they have citrus, which would be like a, I don't know, 7-Up or a Sprite. And then they have orange creamsicle, which is the other one. I really want to try that one. But I get to kind of meet that, uh, I don't know, that need that I have, right? I'm not going to be drinking regular soda, but I'm adding the benefit, which is the BCAAs. The only downside to this is they don't tell you the ratio and then they don't tell you necessarily the amount. So you as a consumer, if you don't know what I know as a nutritionist, or if you just haven't done a ton of research on your own, it kind of forces you to do that, to look for the info on this. And I didn't find anything on their website. I, I did a Google search on it. I didn't see anything on it, right? So with this, we have the one gram of protein. The typical standard for this is two to one to one. We have two parts of leucine, then one part of isoleucine, and then one part of valine. So taking this, just deconstructing the one gram of protein, right? Because the protein is the structure. The amino acid is the building block. So when we have any type of protein, right? You have 20 grams of whey protein and then it shows you the amino acid profile on the back you could add all of that up and that's going to equal the 20 25 grams whatever it is right so with this we we'll just deconstruct it right um so for this it's two to one to one that's four parts right so just take the one gram the 100 percent essentially and then split it up so we're going to have 500 milligrams of leucine here and then you're going to have 250 milligrams of isoleucine and then 250 milligrams of 
value that equals the one gram, right? So 500 milligrams of leucine, right? That's half a gram. And then 250 milligrams of isoleucine plus another 250 milligrams of valine that equals another 500 milligrams. And now you have 500 plus 500, you have your one gram with this. So that is not a lot, by the way. Your average run of the mill BCAA supplement you're gonna get off Amazon or GNC or any other place is gonna have typically five grams of BCAAs in it. This has one. So it doesn't really fit if you're trying to increase the BCAAs to that same level pre-workout while you're fasting, what, whatever your reason is for taking BCAAs. What I will say is, I mean, I always encourage all of my clients, like, get this stuff from real food, right? I'm not going to count on my one gram, especially out of this, to meet that need. But while I'm training, pre-training, in a period of fasting, if you want to do that, that's fine. I know a lot of people will say, well, it's a waste of your money, just eat real food. And then a lot of other people will like, well, no, it's going to, uh, it's the supplement, right? It's adding to my diet. So I'm getting that little bit extra in. So um, my personal thoughts on it, uh, for those that know what BCAAs do, I'm going to just give you a quick kind of synopsis. Your hepatic system, your liver doesn't actually, it gets first pass on all nutrients for the most part minus a handful of things. The BCAAs don't get absorbed by the liver. They actually go straight to the muscle. So because of that, in periods of fasting or right when I'm working out, I can actually consume BCAAs and they'll go right to feeding the muscle versus my liver getting the first pass and trying to actually take all of it. So that is the benefit of actually taking the BCAAs here. But you're getting these same amino acids from any food source, right? As long as it's a good whole food, right? I mean, you're not getting that out like candy bars and things like this, but with this, yes, opt for the regular food source, but for those that do want to supplement, I'm not gonna say, hey, don't, it's your money, do what you want with it. This is really, all right, I want something that tastes like root beer, but it's going to have some type of benefit beyond that for me, right? I know some of them, they do the, um, I'm trying to think of the, the brand name, but they're essentially probiotic sodas. And you can get a root beer with that one. We do that from time to time. That tastes really, really good. Now it's a probiotic that I'm getting, but also with the live active cultures in it, but also it tastes like a root beer soda. And so I can kind of give myself that treat, right? Or I can scratch that itch where I'm not gonna consume regular pop because there's all the sugar in it anymore. I'm gonna go to something where it has an upside, it has a benefit. And that's where I see this. So these are on sale right now, I think for like 20 bucks, you get a t case of 12, something to consider. These are only 12 ounces, by the way, this isn't 16 ounces, so it is a little bit smaller. Um, 12 ounces for me personally the, is enough. Anytime I get like a Zivia or the probiotic soda, like that's when it's a 16 ounce can, it's just, I usually don't finish it. It's too much. 12 is perfect for me, but for some people that are like, no, 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 I need the full 16. Maybe it's something that will shy you away from buying this. So I'm gonna put a link for this in the description. I do wanna try the other ones. For scratching the itch if I want the soda, huge check for me. I, I like the taste of it. For anybody that's like, I'm gonna use this for my BCAA supplement, probably not, right? Especially if you're a male and you just have a larger amount of muscle mass. This just isn't enough. But I think like, Somebody, I have clients where maybe would they want that treat with um, their lunch at work? And it's like, dude, I just, I, I need a soda. I need something like, let me give you something that's a little bit better. Let me give you this, right? And you get, yeah, the one gram of amino acids with it, which isn't a ton, but it's better than nothing. And you still get to scratch that itch. So that is it. Um, if you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. Like I said, I'll put a link for these in the description from Amazon. So if you guys want to try it yourself. If you have any questions, maybe there's something I didn't cover with this, uh, definitely let me know. Um, I'm surprised, actually, I, I do want to say this, I am surprised. With their other one, they have the nootropics in there, L-theanine and a couple of different other things, right? So nootropics, they're just for your brain. And I was surprised they didn't actually put any of that in here. It seems like that would have been something that I would have put, like the BCAAs and maybe like maybe like a mushroom powder, chaga, lion's mane, something like that, cordyceps or like a nootropic with this, right? L-theanine, something like that. So 
they didn't, which is surprising, but um, maybe they reformulate this uh, down the road. We'll see, this is a brand new product from them and, and I like their brand, I like their other drinks with this. So that is it, if you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.